Andrew Jameson. Take it away, please. Great. Thank you very much. So let's roll back from a, a 200 projector display. In your minds, think back to the lowest resolution, highest value display that you can think of. So take a minute. Imagine low resolution, high value, back in time. Formulate an idea in your mind. For me, I came up with a lighthouse. It's a single pixel display. Highly valuable. In fact, it's critical to the success of a business. So today, we're here to talk about how we can scale resolution and have displays that are as critical to businesses today as lighthouses have been to businesses in the past. We've seen a chart like this with the blue line showing the GPU output. Um, the great thing for Scalable is that most of the people here at this conference, in this room, during the presentations that I've been watching, they're generating content. They're taking advantage of the curve. The GPUs are gushing forth all of these pixels. I refer to the pixels from them, they're, they're, they're the content pixels, or the information. What many people are not uh, cognizant of or, or thinking about is that display resolution has remained relatively flat while the GPUs have continued to move forward at such a rapid pace. So there's this great opportunity in the market for us to bring the resolution of the display up to the resolution of the GPU, closing the gap between those two lines. And that's what scalable display is all about. How do we do that? We're doing that by taking multiple projectors and blending them together into seamless displays. As our name would indicate, it's completely scalable. So we're able to build displays that will scale up two times, three times, 10 times, 15 times 4K projection to give you 150 megapixel displays, which gives us then the ability to kind of catch up with the output of the GPUs. And it's using a camera feedback technology that was patented out of MIT and is exclusively licensed to uh, scalable display. Quick bit of terminology. I talk about content pixels. That's what most of the people in the room are doing. You guys are generating um, the content. We looked at MapD earlier, and he put up an image that was gorgeous, a beautiful image of the United States with all this data. And afterwards, we were speaking, and he's excited to come over and put that same image up, but put it up in 10 megapixels, 20 megapixels, where you can actually see all of that data. So we have the content pixels. We've got projected pixels, and then we apply a correction, and that's the, the IP of Scalable, is this correction capability. And then we finally display it onto a screen. So we've been doing this for a little while, and we have a bunch of customers. We've got uh, over 500 customers. We've got a bunch of the Fortune 500 customers. We've got a worldwide network of uh, qualified integrators. And we also have OEM relationships with NEC and Barco and Hitachi and Rico. So things are going along quite well. So what I thought would be valuable for you here is to talk a little bit about how people are benefiting from this technology and why it's critical to their businesses as a way of illustrating why we believe that this market is going to grow and that there's an opportunity for us. So I'll start off with seismic visualization. So to drill an oil well, it typically runs between 50 and 100 million dollars to drill a well. So the oil and uh, gas, the ENP companies spend a lot of time trying to figure out where they're going to drill. They spend millions of dollars in this exploration. A particular case in point that I think illustrates value. There was a case where they looked at a seismic image not dissimilar from this, and this was three or four years ago. They were using lower resolution visualization. So they had, if you will, WXGA projectors. They had them blended together. But the net resolution was relatively low. They drilled a well. It was a dry well. During the year and a half time that had elapsed between deciding to drill and finding out that they'd made a mistake, they'd upgraded the visualization system. They went back and they looked at the same data in higher resolution. Instantly, they were able to see what the problem was and why the well was going to be dry. How many millions of dollars is that worth to them? It's a mission critical capability in the seismic visualization oil and gas space. 
Building information modeling is another case in point. Um, it was mentioned earlier that uh, there's a tremendous opportunity for visualization when we're taking the architects, the structural engineers, the contractors, you've got the owners, all needing to come together to visualize and take a look at their project. There's a clash detection issue when HVAC guys decide to put their air duct going where there's going to be an I-beam. So building information modeling, it's bringing all that data together Again, lots of data available. There's relatively limited ability to visualize it on large displays. So this is what Scalable is doing. This display here happens to be 10 HD projectors, simply blended together, running off of three quadro cards. The customer pushes a button and gets a blended, calibrated display. Procter & Gamble, they've been using a system like this. This is called the BizSphere. And they blend multiple projectors together to immerse them, we share the data on both sides of the room such that the managers can sit across the table looking at each other while they look at the same data. Having come from the video conferencing market, having spent lots of time in these type of collaborative meeting rooms, when I sat in this room for the first time, having been involved in the design of it, I was absolutely shocked at how effective it is to be able to hold a face-to-face -face meeting without having to look over my shoulder or without having to have all of us looking classroom style at a display. This is a revolutionary type of a design and I think we'll see more of this over time. Military simulation, we do a tremendous amount of military simulation. 50% of our revenue comes from military sim. The benefits there are obvious. If you're trying to identify targets on a screen in a simulator, it's real important that you have enough resolution to be able to define friend or foe when you're making your decisions. Another emerging market that we're seeing a lot of action in is the dome theater, this edutainment market. We're seeing this come out. There's some news coming out of CinemaCon this week. There's a number of installations that are coming live. Scalable blends together these domes with the touch of a button. So there's a tremendous upside in the opportunity. So the question I would ask you is, what is the information that your business is not seeing? Those critical pieces of visualization that bring you that insight to decide which direction to take your business, what decisions not to take, what directions not to go. So with that, let me turn it over to questions and uh, address Before those. we go to questions, I just want to thank you for delivering an awesome presentation as the last one of the day. I know we made you wait, but that was great. That was, I think, the best uh, CEO on stage presentation we saw today. So thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, John. So. Uh